Hey train friends, welcome back to another train show. Wow, it's been a while since we did a train show and we're here back again at the Greenberg Show in Monroeville, PA. It's August 3rd and 4th. Today is actually the 4th, it's Sunday, I came on Sunday. We're gonna go inside and check out the show today on PGA's Train Fanatic. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy the show. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below and enjoy. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are. We're inside the big hall and it's a little quiet today. I think probably the crowd came yesterday, usually train shows, you come early. I figured I'd come today and check it out and see what's going on. We'll go around and see what everybody has today. All right, here we are at Lero Productions. You can see his website, it's leroproductions.com and the best train artwork in the business. Pete has amazing artwork and it's just incredible. So if you see him at another train show, he travels around, check out his artwork. It is absolutely top notch, A number one. There's some cool train stuff at this table. Some trolleys, some die cast cars. I was eyeing up the Shelby, oh man, nice. All right, we're doing a little first person experience here, walking around. Here's some HO and N scale items. Hey, how you doing? So much to see here. This is a big table. Check out all these N scale locomotives. Holy moly. That's crazy. Just gonna get some more video of all the items here. If you see anything, reach out to them. Really nice owner. Lots and lots of rolling stock and locomotives. And he does travel to other shows. He'll be at the Edison show as well. So if you see something you like, let him know. Here is Robbie's Hobbies. You can see there's their info, robbieshobbies.com. Check out what he's got. He's got some locomotives on that top shelf. Some rolling stock. Awesome. Check out this huge table full of trains. A lot of nice items here. Yeah, it's a little difficult looking at trains for yourself and then trying to take video. That's what I'm trying to do here all at the same time. Really cool. Right. We bought a couple of trolleys. There's a lot of awesome stuff in this. I think this looks like another gentleman's table here. The tablecloths change colors. I'm not sure whose items these are, but a lot of, no. a lot of cool stuff nonetheless. No. This is Kurt's table. He's got an M1A for $3.99. TMCC and Odyssey. The uh, has a gun gun runner John's chuffing unit in that with the four chuffs per revolution. So that's actually a really good deal. <clears throat> Here's a um, Proto One Centipede. That's gorgeous. Perfect for an upgrade or unless you run conventionally. Then we come over here to Wesley's items. Steel City trains. A lot of nice Weaver box cars for a great price. I actually picked up a couple. That's why he's got a space missing there. <laughs> and he's got a space missing here because I picked up a Lionel car. 
Wesley's also got a MTH TIU with the remote 225. That's a great deal. And I missed this Z stuff signal bridge for 100 bucks. That's awesome too. This is Jim Richards Auto Body. He's got a an awesome Legacy Erie Mining set for 800. Some other items here. Oh, here's the bridge guy. Makes some amazing bridges. This is Chuck's Train Room. Chuckstrainroom.com. We'll walk around the other side. He's got more items over there. I never knew Lionel made Simpsons cars. That's really cool. Check out what he's got on this side. A lot of nice stuff. Got a got a Pepsi set back there. There's B and B hobby supplies, hobbytools.com. You can see they have a massive setup here for all kinds of tools for your trains and parts and detail pieces. Check them out. All kinds of shirts, hats. Gotta have your train memorabilia and apparel. All right, so here we are at Brady's train outlet booth at the Greenberg Show, and it is big. Looks bigger than normal. You can see he's got even shelves in the back. Let's start out down here. We'll work our way back to the left. Lots of stuff here. Ooh, nice set of Pensy PA units. A Santa Fe 2104, which I just did a review on that engine. If you missed that video, I'll put a link in the description. There's a Class A. I have the Pennsylvania Class A. I did a review on that. I'll also put a link in the description. <laughs> New uh, Vision Cabooses. Those are the... Uh, that's not the custom run one. Here's the uh, New York Central Dreyfus. I did a review on the Black Bonnet Dreyfus. Challenger. Brass Hybrid. Beautiful. Love that Shea back there. MTH. Got some skeleton log cars to go with your Shea. Some more Class A's. Shea. Switcher. Is that back there? Got a Challenger back there. Rainbrier. The I-1, which I have and have not reviewed yet. <laughs> I've been delayed on that one. That'll be coming soon. There's a beautiful Santa Fe. This one's this one's a little different. This one has a gloss finish on it. Man, that is sharp. The shiny black finish on that one. There's the item number on it. Some Vision Line Big Boys. Got a gray one and a 4000. If I'm not mistaken, the 4000. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought maybe that was the, the muffin, Muffins Custom Run one. But I could be wrong on that. Got an MTH Mikado. That's a beautiful engine if you're into New York Central. TH Rail King Big Boy. Seven hundred E with the case. 
Here we are at the Pittsburgh Independent High Railers O gauge modular layout. We'll go around and check it out today. I like the operating truck. That's a, an accessory from K-Line. That's the new Menards Carvana Tower. That's awesome. Pretty cool. It's a Menorah's accessory. This is definitely my, my buddy Tommy's. He did these custom run Turner's cars. Those are awesome. Wood side reefer train. I really like this. The house with the swings. And then you got a tree house. It's super cool. All right, here we are at Kim's Trains and Things. And unfortunately, Kim has passed and his family is taking over, trying to sell off all of the liquidating of the stock. So if you see something you like in this video, put the info down below and you can reach out to them and help out to uh, get some items sold here so lots and lots of tons of stuff here to see walther's kits and ho scale and n scale let's check out the other stuff over here you can see there's buildings freight cars so much stuff Lots of high quality items here. Great deals too. So it's obviously hard to show all of these sets and everything, but if there's something you're looking for, it looks like they have tons and tons of stock. Reach out to them, see if they have it. Some more things, some locomotives. More buildings over here. Turntable, some vehicles. Lots of great stuff, especially if you're an O gauger. H O gauger, sorry. All right, we're coming over to this H O scale layout. I love this carnival you can scene. Push the buttons. Oh, you can push the buttons to do things. Cool. Oh, shooting boxes out of the box cars. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Got more buttons on there. More buttons for the carnival. Sweet. There we go. Awesome. That's so cool. If you, if you get down at eye level, it looks great too. That's the way it's not going to have a Vanity mirror. That's nice just, talking to you, Rich. Oh, nice talking. Nice, nice, meeting, nice meeting you. Thank you. Move, clo move closer. We'll see you every, every month, month on Tuesday. <laughs> I'm ready to move further away. <laughs> How you doing? Good, good. Coming through. Gauge layout. Another S gauge layout. Love the carnival scene. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the show. I found a couple cool things. I got this Z Stuff signal bridge, which is awesome. Can't wait to set that up. And this really nice Lionel gondola, Union Railroad with a steel coil load. Love that. And then I found two really nice Weaver uh, Woodside reefers. They are beer reefers from the Wainwright Brewing Company, Pittsburgh, PA. So I had to have those. <laughs> 